Speaker, the effects of the global economic recession have been felt around the world, but not so much in this end of the world. In fact, this end of the world has actually been pretty lucky in the overall context of the of the world economic recession. And in fact, it will come as a surprise to members of oh, there's the speaker. That will come as a surprise to the members opposite to know that in fact New Zealand grew. On, at a faster rate than Australia in the second half of 2009 on a per capita basis. Now, that'll come as a surprise to the opposition, but it just goes to show, actually, New Zealand is not doing too bad, but there's heaps more to do. And here's another piece of news for the opposition. Governments don't hold up the sky on their own. They can do things in the short term, and this government is, but ultimately, it takes businesses. Ultimately, it takes businesses in viable industries where New Zealand has a competitive advantage to create ongoing jobs. You don't just magic them out of thin air, Mr Cunliffe. And that means a tax system, firstly, that encourages people to work hard and get ahead. And Budget 2010 will deliver that tax system for New Zealand. It also means a regulatory environment that encourages industries to grow and add jobs. And to do that, you have to have changes, and you have to look at things that you can do to encourage industries. Things like unlocking responsible mining opportunities for jobs. Things like unlocking irrigation opportunities for jobs. Things like unlocking opportunities for more aquaculture space. Things like allowing more productive heavy vehicles to transport our goods to market. All of which this government is doing, and most of which the opposition opposes. So they are saying, we don't do enough about jobs, but they have no solution. And, and all the time they hate the things that we are doing. So Labor bleats on and on about job creation and growth, but what do they do to tackle any of these challenging things? When they had the chance, they did nothing. They offer nothing now. They offer nothing to encourage industries to create growth. And in fact, their only solution is to saddle a struggling crown company with a political decision to try and start a new industry where that company knows commercially it doesn't make sense, it has no comparative advantage, and in fact the Labor Party itself knows as well because when they had the opportunity to build trains in New Zealand they didn't go ahead with it. But that's their only token suggestion. So government does assist. Government is working hard, helps jobs by investing in infrastructure. In fact, we're doing that like nobody else. Massive investments, for example, in Transpower with electricity transmission. Massive investments in roading, $11 billion in new state highway infrastructure in the next 10 years. And yes, Mr Cunliffe, massive investment in ultra-fast broadband. And if you'd, left the, if you'd left the sector in better shape when you'd left, Mr Cunliffe, then we wouldn't be having to take the reasonable period of time to achieve that. Also, massive investment in education and skills. Labor doesn't talk about this, but we have the largest number of places ever in New Zealand tertiary institutions this year for tertiary education. But in fact, the biggest impact the government can have on real growth is to control their own expenditure. Controlling government expenditure keeps debt down, it keeps interest rates lower than they otherwise would, and it keeps exchange rates under control. Labor doesn't understand that. They actually want to do something about exchange rates. They've been talking about it for a year now. They have no idea. But one of the most important things the government do to actually influence these is through their budget and showing control of expenditure. And that is what this budget will do, Mr Speaker. It will control expenditure. It will actually give the opportunity for the private sector to grow because it will lower interest rates. And the opposition needs to learn to understand that because, frankly, Mr Speaker, Mr Cunliffe doesn't. He claims there is no debt problem in New Zealand. He says, he says that somehow we could just magic our way to success by borrowing more money. Well, that is a recipe for disaster. As the Finance Minister pointed out yesterday, we already have large private sector debt. If you, label, if you add large public sector debt on top of that, Mr Speaker, you will create a debt problem for New Zealand. And that, frankly, the opposition doesn't understand. And until they learn about that, then the public of New Zealand will not trust them with the Treasury accounts again, because their only solution is to spend more money. They criticise every expenditure change of this government. That's what they've done. They've criticised every single expenditure change of this government, and they've said they'd keep them all, they'd keep them all, they'd keep spending away and growing and growing the government side of the economy and shrinking the real side of the economy. And we know what the outcome of that is, Mr Speaker. We know it is low growth rates and we saw it between 2006 and 2008 before the economic recession even began in the rest of the world. We saw low per capita growth, in fact negative per capita growth in this country. So Mr Speaker, the budget in 2010 will create 
many more jobs in New Zealand by controlling expenditure, con investing in infrastructure the, and investing the in sectors. David Cunliffe. The cheaper broadband, not one inch, Mr Speaker.